So I've quite heavily invested in my new painting venture. I wonder where that slime was. Um, it's good slime, that. I've invested quite heavily in my new painting venture. Some would say potentially a little hastily. I've bought uh, about 100 quid's worth of spray paint and stuff off of graphcity.co.uk, I think. Website will be on here. And I bought a big stack of canvas, being plural for canvases, of course. Spent about 100 quid on these canvases, which were on sale in Hobbycraft. A2 size, 20 of, 10 by 8 inches, 30 of them. Maybe I've uh, went in a little bit too head first. I'm definitely committed now to really painting some space scenes. So all in, including the spray paint I already had, which was probably about 100 quid's worth. That's 300 quid invested into the space paint spray space art. Space art. Space paint spray. Uh, into the spray paint space art. Galaxy. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So anyway, I'm sat waiting now for my delivery driver, Tyler, to deliver my Graph City order. He was supposed to be here between five past one and five past two. It's now half past two, so he's 20 minutes late. I've just looked online and it says he's in another half an hour away. So come on, Tyler. Pick up the pace. And that's good slime. I forgot to tell him off for being late, but when it's Tyler, I can make an exception. So here it is, the box. Take it, it's yours. It always was. The great thing about the friendship Tyler and I have is, you know, we don't need to say a lot. He said thank you, I said much appreciated. Tyler likes to be made to feel appreciated, which is why I said that. He knows that I love being thanked. We complement each other perfectly. And we're such good friends, we don't feel the need to get bogged down in some long, drawn out, pointless conversation. We just boil the conversation down to its bare bones. It's the important stuff. Anyway, here's what Tyler's brought me today. Ooh, I bought a fair bit. But these simply because they are on offer. Four cans of grey vinyl plastic paint. Uh, this stuff was like £1.50 a can. And it's quite large. So if indeed it will paint on vinyl, as it claims to, then it would be a good way of putting a base primer on my Sofubi that I might then paint them using acrylics. As I'm sure I don't need to tell you guys. Painting acrylics direct onto vinyl is a bad idea. So hopefully this will be a good, cheap way to do that. We'll see. It's a six pack of Montana Gold Shock Black. Great for outlines. Montana Gold is a low pressure acrylic spray paint. I got these because they were on offer for £3.50 a can. White Out Super White by Montana. And the black version, I think it's black tar they call it. What's that? Crackle effect, yes, I forgot about that. I bought it in green, because I thought it'd be good for adding that effect onto planets in green. I was gonna get the white as well, but this stuff was quite expensive, about six pounds a can, I believe. But I thought with green, I can double it up as a sort of alligator skin. And that's an acetone cap cleaner, so that hopefully a lot of the caps I've bought already can be salvaged. I'm assuming this is freebies, lanyard. And the caps I ordered. It's a uh, Molotov pen of some description, I'm not sure what. New York Skinny. I don't know what the others are. Thrown in this magazine, style, style file. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Six cans of Montana Gold Shock White. Uh, obviously I get to do a lot of black and white on a picture. Montana Gold are my favorite for line work, which is why I've went for the Montana Gold for the white and black due to the low pressure. You can get a bit finer detail. 
Two boxes is my set of 12 Montana Blacks, which I've yet to use. They're a slightly different formula to Montana Gold and a higher pressure system, so good for high coverage. That's a wide spray cap, I believe, a standard. Uh, good for large areas. They do a different array of colours than that you can get in the Montana Gold, although they do do a lot of the same colours. Uh, it feels heavier. But I thought these would be good for some of the large areas. They're a little bit cheaper than Montana Golds and not as precise due to the high pressure. So here's the lot. I'm going to move those away for another day. Those are going to be used on a Sofubi video. And here's the paints I already had. I think anyone would agree Tyler really outdid himself. Got my new caps down here. So I've got Montana Level 1 Ultra Skinny Caps. Reckons it does about a 4 to 15 millimeter line with that. MTN Banana Universal Cap. MTN, don't know what that means. This is for outlines. The Lego Thin, which is pretty much uh, a New York Thin, but for EU cans like the Montanas and stuff. It's a thin to medium, quite solid line. The Montana Gold, an approximately two centimeter line. So you can do pretty much anything with those. And then I wanted to try these out. Montana German Outline Caps, Thin to Medium Outlines. Obviously all the spray paint I've just ordered comes with caps. These come with gold Montana stock caps as standard. And the Montana Blacks come with a wide spray. So there's my wide caps. And if they get clogged up, no problem. Thanks, Tyler. Just went and found these uh, stickers in the paperwork, just when I thought Tyler had no more surprises. <laughs> He's went and chucked in these. This is a classic Tyler move right there. That's, a, that's a, such a Tyler thing to do. These Hello My Name Is stickers. Look forward to writing my name on them and sticking them on stuff. And it also tells me what the free caps were. So I'm assuming what I've got here is a Cobra Black Dot cap. Cobra Grey Banana cap. Cobra Monster Fat Cap and a New York Fat Cap. Just wanted to say, uh, this video isn't sponsored by graphcity.com, by the way, I said .co.uk earlier. I just, uh, you know, obviously wanted to share my experience with Tyler and so far I'm happy with them. You know, they've chucked in some freebies, I've got that pen and that. Yeah, way cheaper than uh, what I was paying in the shop. Got this new circle cutter yesterday. And uh, I used this bit of sticky back vinyl with the, with the hole cut out on top of my sketchbook. It's the first time I've been able to layer one planet on top of another. But I'm now going to layer this on top of there and put a bit of a background on using these new paints. This is the Wizard Purple Montana Black, the standard stock black wide cap on. Big line here. Whoa. Montana Black Blue Velvet with the Montana Gold Stock Cap. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, lines out. I feel like I got some thinner lines with this. Definitely can. The white running out. But yeah, I can tell that's a skinny line. Okay, slight hiccup. My memory ran out on the phone and stopped recording, uh, so you didn't actually get to see me painting any of uh, this bit, but never mind. Did this purple wizard colored line using the Montana Black high pressure sp formula spray with the standard wide cap. Comes out very wide, too wide for my tastes. It'd be good if you wanted to paint the shed or do a large graffiti piece, but I can't see me ever finding a very useful application for that on a canvas or something of this size. I changed over to the Montana Gold and found it much softer. I could add it on in two layers instead of it just going and coming out really solid. So my Montana Blacks, they are high pressure, but I did, in, did prefer that with the Montana Gold on. 
I tried out the banana liner, uh, not on this, just on the side, and I could tell it was gonna be too solid of a line. I, I used this one in the end. Yeah, I did it with this. But I prefer the Montana Gold. Um, I found the Montana Gold easier to get a, a more of a fade. You can see this comes out quite thick. I'm gonna splatter some stars on. Bada bing, bada boom, here we are. All right, so I'm off to a secret location to try out some of this new gear. Don't worry, I'm not gonna vandalize this beautiful countryside. I have already planned the perfect location, completely out of sight from mankind. Snake down here. Come out here. Okay, so I found a secluded place under the bridge, inaccessible to the public, that will never be seen by anyone ever. Perfect. Quite a bit of traffic noise, what with me being under a bridge and all. So I'm gonna mute the audio and replace it with some relaxing background music.
Okay, it's the next day. There's a couple of bits I wasn't happy with with this, particularly this bit here, so I've come back to sort it out. Okay, here we are. I think any homeless person sleeping in here would agree that's a vast improvement on a blank wall. Come on. Obviously, didn't want you guys thinking I was just uh, ruining the beautiful British countryside. I'm well under a bridge. Unfortunately, no one else will ever see it. Apart from no good nicks, or perhaps the homeless. I'm by no means an expert myself, but there you go. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. And if you don't already do so, why don't you go and smash my subscribe button? Go on, bang, bang, smash it. You're being a fool to yourself if you don't. Where's my glasses? You can take your rubbish with you. Always a good idea on these kind of ventures if uh, you wear a pair of gloves. Great. Turns out I hadn't quite had my fill of spray paint space action, so when I got home I pulled the canvases out and made a couple more space pictures. Thanks for watching.